Kubor Kabate Si TV. Lawan Rasha Pi Daka Frank Motors. The dark is here to rule. Ka IZ Group of Institution Bangalore. Kadeke College Babhatam Nagabanta Kachinkuli Nursing but Paramedical Course. Hospital Training. Pinyo Scholarship but Chispa Person Kakam. Aki Hospital Bahe Do India but Shabari. Nabanta Kachinkuli, the Jinsio Kabaret, but Hilaban Legu and Kuli, the Education Loan. Hilaruban Shukola, who number Kandai Nyo Nyo, Sao Sao, San Rio Rio Prano. Lani Kandai Pran Rio License. Armory Way Kandai Pra. U Abu Taher Mondal, U Balong U Mintri Jongasorkar Jala Meglia, U Bapet Yakatanat Community and Rural Development, Haka Lipoterik Ujamang Arjar Pulai, U Lapli Padba, Yaka Migration Support Center, Hagoati Assam, Kabaha Papo Kajinpanya, Jonga Dean Dayal, Upadia Gramin Koshalia Yojana, DDU JKY Meghalaya. Haka Jingpli Yakanika Center. La Saki Lang do Secretary Katanat Community and Rural Development Kasorkar Megalia U SC Sadhu Bat Kiwe Kiwe La Pinshonkun Yakanigasi Dakajingruai Bat Kajing Ai Saki Nakisamla Kibalayo Yakajingikai Pintibit Lingba Kadin Dayal Upadia Gramin Koshalia Yojana Kibadang Tri Hadumenta Ha Gohati SRLM Assam and NIRDPR um, Gohati. Um, then I extend my warm welcome to all who have come uh, or, uh, to grace this occasion, especially the pro uh, program implementing agencies, the trainees of DDUGKY, and uh, and the DDUGKY youths who are working here in and around uh, Gohati. Uh, this uh, first migration support center of Meghalaya DDGKY under community and rural development uh, as per guidelines and as SOP of Ministry of Rural Development is set up to provide service to the rural youth, uh, youth and rural migrant, work, migrant workers of DDGKY as, as well as to other migrants of Meghalaya visiting the center. I guarantee that uh, setting up this migration support center with continuous support uh, and guidance of our leaders, dynamic leaders, Honorable uh, Minister Sri uh, Sir A.T. Mondal and Principal Secretary and sec uh, 
secretary and director of community rural development and uh, uh, will be fruitful in providing services to the poor rural youth uh, and youth of Meghalaya. Very happy to take part in today's inaugural program of first migration support center in Gauhati. This is the first migration support center under GKY by Meghalaya. So which is a milestone event in the history of GDUGKY, not only in the history of GDUGKY, but in terms of migration support for the students and young aspirants who want to get employment in other parts of the, in other parts of the country. Yes, many of us are aware that Meghalaya is a state where it is very closely knit society where families are very close and as uh, the Chinese, successful Chinese, as they were mentioning, it is very difficult to, to come out of this family setup to go out. So our experience has shown that whenever we organize any training programs, people participate, all these youngsters they participate in these training programs and when they come to know that they have to go out. So they say that, sir, our Amarama Hari nahi hai, so our clan nahi hai, so nobody is there to support us. So they are reluctant to go out. This is the biggest uh, roadblock for our state to create employment opportunities for our young students, youngsters outside the state. If this is by creating these opportunities, it's not that only they will benefit. It is like mutual complementary benefits. When they go out, and when they go out where they can earn, where they support their families, at the same time they bring in a lot of skills, a lot of ideas, a lot of exposure to the localities which they come from. So in that way the society also takes a lot from the people who go. So if we see the history of any society, who are the societies who are in favor of migration, those societies are most prospering societies, most prospering communities. So breaking this mindset is a very big challenge for all of us. So when we hear these experiences of from Darisha and from Dar, it is very heartening to see this, hear these um, their stories and it is a very giant leap from their side. And when we uh, compare their achievement with our achievement, sometimes their achievements are more remarkable in the sense that they have to come out of this kind of societies, this kind of family setup, and when they are coming from this, uh, from their families and they're from the villages, it needs a lot of courage from their side. So it's, uh, uh, we can provide this kind of uh, environment for the training setup, but this courage from their side is a first and foremost important task. And here, setting up of this migration support center, though it may not ease all their problems may not solve all their problems. At least I am very hopeful and I am um, very confident that this will ease a lot of their problems in terms of acclimatizing to this newer societies because you know that Meghalaya is a very clan-based society, very rural-based society. So when they come to a very big town, very big city, the students are youngsters are overwhelmed, not only youngsters, they are overwhelmed to see any big cities. So I have seen many people who have never come out of this district, even people from Gaur Hills, people from Kasi Hills, they have never visited Shillong also in their entire lifetime. So imagine their uh, mental uh, makeup when they visit a place like uh, Chennai, when they visit a place like Bangalore, Delhi or uh, Hyderabad and other big cities. They are definitely overwhelmed. So this kind of migration support center in, a, in Gauhati will definitely acclimatize them and to give them a first-hand experience of, of what is there outside Meghalaya. It will also will be used as a counseling center and counseling for this all our uh, young aspirants and also for parents to get to know because we have facilities for the parents also stay for some time so they will also know that their children are when their children are going for unknown places they have a lot of tensions a lot of apprehensions to clear their apprehensions also and the counsellors and this counselling at this migration support centre should achieve this objective of elevating the any of uh, doubts of parents also, parents and guardians of these uh, children who are going out. At the same time, 
So when they, uh, we have this Gauhati being a very uh, big city, being a hub of entire North East, it will facilitate a lot of interaction with many of your industrial industry leaders, industry partners, and this kind of this will facilitate a good interaction with not only with DDA, GKV team, but our uh, young uh, uh, aspirants also who want to go outside for employment opportunities. It will facilitate a good interaction point, good platform for all of us to come and interact. To integrate one of the most auspicious location in the city as far as Meghalaya is concerned. The plight of rural leaders is the biggest and serious issues these days. And accordingly, accordingly, Government of India in 2014 brought out this one of the most important flagship program in the Lopataya Gramin Koshan Yojana. The name itself means that it is dedicated for the people of rural area, especially the youths and the students. I also belong from the rural area. And I was also once a job seeker. So I know the plight of the rural leaders. And if you now go to every city, town in the country, not only in the concept of Meghalaya, but in the concept of, of the Indian entire country, that the one of the greatest chunk of the population who are seeking jobs are the are urbanized rural population. The people who migrate from rural areas to come for jobs in the urban areas. This has created a lot of problems also in the urban areas. And that's how the MN Rega, or which is popularly known as the Enrega scheme, has come to retain the migration or exodus of people from rural areas to urban areas. But those were targeted in different way. But this scheme, the Gramin Koshala Yojana scheme, specifically targeting the youths, those who are having qualification but do not get job. As I told, urbanized rural population, the first situation our rural boys and girls goes in the urban areas is the competition from the compatriot trainees. Whenever they go to a training station or educational institution, first thing they have to compete with the urban youths who are much more knowledgeable as per the life of urban areas is concerned. Ms. Tenjing has very rightly said that we or to give even orientation program about the city also, that which areas belongs to which categories. Now, for example, if anybody go and buy for some apparels, clothes, they necessarily need not go to Nunmanti area. They have to go to certain areas. Then again, there is division that the prices of the clothes, if you go to the malls in GS Road, the price will be a little bit higher. If you go to fancy bazaar, then prices will be a little bit cheaper. So these shots of orientation for everything, even for food, because our boys and girls will go out for work and then look for food, we got to give them that you go to this hotel, which is hygienic, but will provide food in cheaper rates. So that's how they are first facing the trouble from the own institutes or the trainees from the same center who belong to the urban areas. So we got to give much support to them as per the urban lifestyle also. Regarding the support, this program itself emphasizes all the aspect as far as a rural youth is required when he migrates for job in the urban areas. See, there was a time, if we take Northeast as a whole, people were coming in Northeast in search of jobs. You go back 20, 25, 30, 40 years back, 
people were migrating from other states to our or other region to our region in search of job. Now there is a turn of event. Now we are going to outside in search of job. We got to move out from our localities to other areas in search of job. This turn of event has created a lot of problem. Problem in our social culture, problem in our own uh, resource, because large number of brain damage is happening every year. I remember around uh, a decade back, there was some problem in Bengaluru, where our Northeast people or the youths were subjected to mass exodus because of some communal flair of there. People were getting into the train in numbers, overcrowding, they wanted to come back. We have deputed three of us from the cabinet that time to go to these areas. We have gone to Pune, we have gone to Mumbai, we have gone to Bangalore to find out that how this situation happened. And there we met our own youths and we have discussed the problem they have faced. So problems are a lot. There is difference in our activities. There is difference in our habits. There is difference in our culture. There is difference in our wiring attires. So when you go some other place, easily people can single out that he or she don't belong to our area. So they are subjected to all kinds of harassment. Harassment at the place of work. Harassment at the place of estate, harassment even in the bus, harassment in the taxi, everywhere. And that's how I think these support centers will help in a big way to help our migrant workers or the trainees who are coming in this location. I will be definitely discussing that we can have a better uh, place also, or bigger place, not better place, but bigger place, where we can accommodate it more. We are just touching, as far Meghalaya is concerned, just Koinadora, that area, beyond that is Meghalaya. Even we can build our own house there so that we can support our youth from there. No work is small. I have heard from Ms. Shumo and Ms. Dhar. Definitely, we will face a lot of problems as far our village is concerned. Because we have not gone out, we were till now sufficient in our villages. But now that Everybody wants a better future. Everybody wants to have a better uh, uh, income. And that is, the village is not supporting. Because our children are not taught to how to plow the land. Our children are not taught how to cultivate <coughs> the agricultural products. So they suddenly become something like Gorka, uh, Gobika, Kutaka, Jesa. Neither they can do some work in the field, nor they can come get a better job in the government. So ultimately they become something like that standard in the world without anything looking in the future. But no job is small. Just imagine a person who migrated out of this country, worked as a clerk, and when he comes back and he puts his effort, he becomes the richest man in the country. That's how the Ambani family has come into the poor and now Mukesh Amban is the richest man almost in the world. So no work, no job is small. You've got to get a lot of efforts into your job. You've got to explore out.